Hello guys, welcome to another video on Healthy Talkie YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about how to cure tinnitus caused by ear infection, two natural tinnitus treatment remedies. Before we get started with the video, check the link in the description box below to discover the secret formula we recommend if you want to be free from ear infections and hearing loss. Quick advice, make sure you watch this video to the end to get the most value from it. Let's start with today's video without wasting too much of your time. Some things that can cause tinnitus are easy to figure out, like earwax buildup, hearing loss, ear infections, problems with blood circulation, certain drugs, etc. Because of these causes, tinnitus is easier to treat than when your doctor can't figure out what's making the sounds in your ears, which is what happens most of the time. Since tinnitus is a sign of a problem in the body and not a disease or condition itself, the best way to get rid of it if the noises are caused by an ear infection is to get rid of the ear infection first. In light of this, here are some natural ways to treat an ear infection. I can't stand my ringing ears. Tinnitus can sound like ringing, static, ocean waves, whistling, whooshing, roaring, squeaking, hissing, humming, etc. Even though these sounds can be annoying, What's worse is that tinnitus can make people feel sad and have suicidal thoughts if it gets bad enough. Other common problems caused by tinnitus include dependence on drugs or alcohol, trouble sleeping, trouble focusing at work or at home, pain or headaches, anxiety, frustration, fear, avoiding quiet or noisy places, etc. As you can see, the sounds can make anyone go crazy. Infection and ringing in the ears. Ear infections most often happen to kids, but anyone of any age can get them. Not every ear infection will cause tinnitus, but it does make it more likely that you will hear annoying noises in one or both ears. Both the middle ear and the outer ear can get infected. Middle ear infections can happen to anyone, but children tend to get them more often. Outer ear infections, also called swimmer's ear otomycosis, are common in adults. They happen when bacteria and other harmful organisms in the water get into the ear canal and get stuck there, causing an ear infection. An infection in the middle ear usually starts with a cold or allergy that causes an area of the ear to swell. This causes the lining of the middle ear to soak up air, creating a vacuum that lets fluid form in the middle ear. When bacteria and viruses from the nose move up into the middle ear, they cause an infection. This is because the fluid in the middle ear is the perfect place for bacteria and viruses to grow and spread, which leads to an infection. Most of the time, ear infections only cause pain and pressure, but they can also make one or both ears ring. There are many ways to treat an ear infection, and once the infection is gone, the tinnitus may go away on its own. Using natural remedies is one way to treat an ear infection. Here are two natural ways to get rid of ringing in the ears first getting rid of the ear infection. Natural Treatments for Ear Infections 1. Onions Garlic is the best natural way to treat infections of any kind, including ear infections. Garlic is often called nature's penicillin because it can kill bacteria, fungi, viruses, and microbes. It is used to treat a wide range of diseases and conditions in a natural way. Garlic doesn't have this problem, which is different from antibiotics, which can lead to a scary trend of antibiotic resistance. Several studies have shown that garlic can kill bacteria from the noses and throats of children with ear infections. This means that it can be used to treat ear infections. Also, the fungus that is usually to blame for the swimmer's ear is called aspergillus. It can be resistant to many antibiotics, but garlic kills it right away. How to use garlic best? Allicin, a chemical found in garlic, breaks down into many other chemicals that are good for your health. The best place to get this compound is from raw garlic, but you have to crush, mince, or press the garlic to get these compounds out. If you cook garlic, you should cook it lightly so that these healthy compounds don't get destroyed. Many people don't like the smell of garlic, which is too bad because raw garlic is best. However, 
Garlic supplements, garlic oil, etc. may contain some compounds that are good for you. Garlic can be taken by mouth or put on the skin to treat infections and many other health problems. Most natural remedies, like garlic, have few or no side effects. However, fresh garlic can cause a burning feeling in the mouth and or esophagus, which many people don't like. If you have problems with how your blood clots, you should talk to your doctor before taking garlic by mouth. Medicinal amounts of garlic can cause problems by slowing down how your blood clots. 2. Echinacea Echinacea is one of the best natural ways to treat the root cause of tinnitus, which in this case is an ear infection, pronounced echinacea. This is another natural treatment that works like garlic. Like garlic, it's a great way to boost your immune system and a great natural way to treat colds and flu. Researchers in Germany found that echinacea was effective at treating many infections, such as meningitis, tuberculosis, wounds, whooping cough, tonsillitis, bronchitis, colds, flu, and ear infections. Echinacea has many ways to fight different kinds of infections. The first way is through echinococide, a natural antibiotic that has many antimicrobial properties. Echinacea can also fight infections by making tissues stronger so that bacteria, viruses, fungi, and other germs can't break them down. With the help of a chemical it has called echinacea, echinacea is able to protect different tissues from different germs. Lastly, echinacea can act like the virus-fighting chemical in the body called interferon. Interferon is released when a virus-infected cell dies to help other cells in the area resist attacks from harmful microorganisms. How to use echinacea in the best way? If you buy a commercial preparation of echinacea, just follow the directions on the label. You could also make a tincture or decoction at home. If you made the tincture yourself, take one teaspoon twice or three times a day. For a decoction, Put two teaspoons of the roots into one cup of water and bring to a boil. Steep for 15 to 20 minutes, strain, and drink up to three cups a day. Echinacea is safe to use. Keep in mind that if you use an echinacea tincture, you may feel tingling or numbing, which should go away in about half an hour. Also, most herbalists say that you should only use echinacea for a short time. It shouldn't be given to kids under the age of two. Before taking echinacea, women who are pregnant or nursing or who are over 65 should talk to their doctor. Some people may also have allergic reactions to echinacea. If this happens, you might want to cut back on the amount you take or stop taking this herb altogether. Here are a few natural ways to treat the root cause of tinnitus and get rid of it. Tinnitus is usually thought to be a sign of a deeper problem, and once that problem is found and treated, the different sounds of tinnitus should go away. Most people think that natural treatments for ear infections are the best since many conventional treatments aren't very good. Topical drugs can be painful, and many of them can't be used if the eardrum has already been broken. This is why natural remedies are the best. If you have tried all these tips and still suffering from ear infections and hearing loss, then check out the secret formula we recommend. This is an all-natural supplement that you can use to achieve your desired results and be free. It is easy to take, very effective, and highly recommended. Learn more about our secret formula from the link below this video in the description box and find out how it can help you to get rid of ear infections and hearing loss. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. The videos on your screen right now are also educative and informative, so make sure you watch them too. Leave a healthy life, stay strong.